Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Paradox Runs in Gungeon. Let's do another one. Ultimate Noob says, I've never played Gungeon, or I haven't played Gungeon in ages. Really? You're here every day watching the stream. Other people as well. Everyone on on YouTube are watching these runs every day. Yo, Alien Sidearm is actually a pretty good start. And we have a not pistol run again, and we have flak shots? Dude, this is a lot of fun. Um, but you guys don't play Gungeon, you just wanna watch it? To be fair, I have probably watched more Binding of Isaac than I have played Binding of Isaac. And honestly, that's probably where a lot of my Binding of all Isaac knowledge comes from. I'm not that good at that game. Dude, I feel so slow after the last run. Um, I'm not that good at Isaac, but I have a lot of theoretical knowledge on it. I can tell you what all the items do. I can tell you strategies. But I'm not that good at you know, internalizing enemy AI patterns and actually making the dodges and stuff like that. Don't hit the water barrel, you pieces of shit. Gungeon? Gungeon is a fine, fine game indeed. Don't hit the water barrel. Thank you. Link5 says, I'm the same, I don't play Gungeon. Sad. You were terrible at Gungeon, says Serona Hot Knights. <laughs> well, maybe if you uh, if you watch me, you'll get better. Because that's, that's how it was with me and Isaac, you know. Watched other people play, and then I kind of got a little bit better myself through the accumulation of knowledge and ideas. Funny how that works. What's in here? Armor? Boo, boo! I mean, to be fair, Watching someone play Gungeon was how I even learned that Gungeon was a thing. You know, I just, you know, on my YouTube subscription, I just saw that someone had a, uh, a video of Gungeon, and I was like, really, what is this game? I've never seen this before. I looked at it, and I'm like, yo, this game seems like it's a lot of fun. And then I picked it up. Which is fair, because, you know, it's not like Dodge Roll or Devolver Digital spent a lot of time and money marketing the game. Or at least not where where I was looking. <laughs> but it's been a long time since then. When did Gungeon come out? 2015? My god, it's been like, th maybe 2016? It's been like three or four years? Two or three years? Can't quite remember, but it's been a long time. My god. The game has certainly grown since then, hasn't it? There was a freaking ghost. He didn't hit me for some reason. You know the rooms your reflexes are shite anyways. <laughs> yeah. In uh, in Isaac too. I I know a lot of the a lot of the rooms and the patterns in Isaac, but uh, I still end up screwing it up whenever I play. Milk Jug says I used to watch my brother play video games on NES SNES. Makes sense. I never had a sibling who played video games, so I do not have the experience of watching an older brother or sister play games and be interested in it from that perspective. You got really good at Burnout, says Sirona Highlights. The only Burnout game I played was Burnout 3, Takedown. That was a fun game. That was when I was playing games on a friend's PS2, that was one of the games that they had, and uh, it was one of the games that I, I fell in love with. It was a fun racing game. It's, it's fun to, you know, knock people out of the race by hitting them in the, in the back and playing dirty. <laughs> playing dirty. Alright, alien sidearm. Black bullets. Let's do this. It's a little odd being so slow after the previous run having multiple speed upgrades and dodge roll upgrades and slower enemy bullets, but I'm quickly getting back into the habit of my standard dodges and patterns and not being as careless as I was last run using the KC. I also want to use this instead of the alien sidearm because alien sidearm is loud. Sorry, did you want to use a different gun? Okay. 
You brought this on yourself! You can have that blank. You can have that blank from me. I already found the secret room, old king. That's a scary dodge to make. <laughs> Original name not found. What's my passive? Guess. <laughs> Yo, laser rifle. This is a good gun. I don't know why. But I always find myself loving the effects of Laser Rifle. It's a fun gun, it sounds good, it's not too loud, it has a good effect on it, does good damage, it's got good synergies. I really enjoy the Laser Rifle, I think it's a, it's a good gun. We also get Devolver Rounds, which is not that good. In fact, I'm tempted to, to sell them for money, but I'm not going to. We're gonna actually take Devolver Rounds and see what we can make do with these. It will be nice to turn big nasty enemies into not nasty enemies, and uh, they'll be stunned for a little bit too, so we don't have to worry about just accidentally getting shot at close range. Break open the chest, we get some junk. Could sell the junk. Let's not. It feels like it's been a little while since we've had a junkin'. Maybe we'll get lucky and get unlucky and not have enough money to open up all the chests on the next floor or not have enough money to buy the keys and not have enough keys to open up the chests and then we'll break them open and we'll get Sir Junkin and then we'll be like I'm told you that's why we wanted to save the junk on this run I'll be sad at not having items and I'll be sad at having Sir Junkin and then we'll have to make do somehow Pew, 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 pew. Nah, screw that. Laser rifle it is. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool, though. Getting them all weak enough that one tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little flak bullet shot could kill them. Who says I'm not a freaking genius? Two million IQ play right there. Let's go. Hey, goodbye. Look at that two million IQ play. You dodge roll straight into a group of enemies. To be fair, I didn't think he would hit me. We're also getting a lot of transmogrification so far, it feels like. And I love using the laser rifle with flak bullets. You just see a bit of a flash and then all of a sudden all the flak bullet shots have already come out and hit their targets. <laughs> They're so incredibly fast. <clears throat> Sorry, is that a cop? Scratch my face a little bit. I gotta shave. Starting to get a little bit itchy on the face. Men problems, am I right? Ha ha ha! Ultimate noob, you're playing a run of Gungeon and you have Gundramata Strain. That's a good item. I wish I had that right now. It's weird, like the um, the mutant bulletkins. I'm hitting them with one charge shot from Alien Engine, which is not enough to kill them, but it's enough that a blank will kill them. If I had the teeniest, tiniest damage upgrade. I'd be able to one-shot those guys, but I don't have that yet. So I'm trying to not even kill them with the, um, with a direct shot. I'm trying to just let the flak bullets kill all of those mutant bulletkins. I just need a tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny little bit of a damage upgrade and we're set. We already find both chests? Yes, we did. I will probably open the red chest before the boss fight. Guys, the bow. It's like, just take a charge shot and then take like a standard shot to finish off the enemy. 
It's like with the bow. I gotta like learn. Oh, this enemy, if you do a, a fully charged bow and then a partial bow shot, you'll be able to kill him in one. I don't wanna learn how to do that. Just let me kill him. Let me kill him with one charge shot, please. But yeah, I'll probably open up the red chest. I just wanna see what's in it. If it's a passive or a uh, or a gun. I don't think I need it, because, you know, we have the laser rifle, and laser rifle is pretty fun and pretty good. But I still want to know. You still shot me. I guess he doesn't shoot to hit. He shoots to miss, so I made a dodge, and the dodge put me directly in, his, in line with his bullet. Admit one. Do I have my ticket? Oh, I do. I just picked it up, my friend. Thanks for asking. Yo, it's admit one. And barrel, which I do like. I might sell alien sidearm. It's not that good. I'm starting to get kind of annoyed with it. What I'm not annoyed with is a uh, black bullet gull here. <laughs> Protect me. Protect me. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there! Save your ammo! Man, you're just freaking owning him, aren't you? I'm just gonna let... I'm just gonna let the gull do it. He died. Put too much credit into the gull skills. <laughs> And then they're going to eat his body. Well, waste not, want not. Okay, the Gatling Gull corpse got small, drifted to the corner of the collection of birds, and then disappeared. What? <laughs> that just looks weird. That just looks funky. Don't have any more keys. I did accidentally spend all of them. We do have enough money for a lodestone, though. Or Holy Grail. I'm going to go Grail. I want the ammo. I actually have some pretty decent guns, and I don't mind taking a hit of damage every once in a while to keep them full. Right, I should have sold Alien Sidearm, especially now that we've picked up other guns and refillable ammo. It's okay if I have to wait until the fourth chamber to dump it. I, I will. The flak bullet shots are kind of distracting, though. <laughs> like, I just, I look, I see just a hail of tiny, tiny little bullets, and then they're just immediately gone. <clears throat> the blob Blobby Lord said the gull's the easiest boss to kill. Yeah, we should, um, someone should make a mod where you, you pit the bosses against each other. Who will win cage match? Gatling Gull or Blocky Lord! Place your bets now! Going for the stunning there. I will forget about you. Doo -doo -doo. We'll also probably buy. That was a stupid dodge roll, but it worked. Probably buy the key, sell alien, alien sidearm. We don't have to worry about with chess because we do have the barrel which is a water gun technically I think it's a water gun I don't know if it would count for black market but it might my dodges is, are very poor against those guys right now those meat cubers freaking meat men hate them Having the blooper just reminds you of how good Looper was. Never seen the movie. Although I have seen... Oh man, what is the name of that movie? Uh, it wasn't like a triple A AAA movie or anything like that, but this group of like engineers accidentally invent a time machine that 
they originally think is like an incubator in their garage, and then one of them uses it to like go back in time. But you can only go back in time to when the time machine was turned on. I forget the name of the movie, but it was a pretty good movie. I, I forget what the um, quest was. I did make a dodge roll. I think it was don't take any damage though, so we should be fine. Can I, can I dodge roll? I better, because I let myself on fire. Oh ho! It was DD20 mode. <laughs> I was in the room, and I'm like, what is the, I forgot what the modifier was, guys. I hope I don't screw it up. Look, sometimes I'm not a smart man. We got hip holster from that. That's pretty good. We don't really have anything that synergizes with it right now, but we'll get some stuff. I wonder, does um, Gatling Gull reload? Nope, he didn't fire one bullet. One extra bullet. I'm hiding behind Gatling Gull. Protect me, please. It was on the list of the top 10 most time confusing time travel movies. Especially because um, how it worked is time in that movie moved forward. And then when you enter the time machine, you go backwards through time at a one-to-one -one rate inside the time machine. So you turn on the time machine, you walk away from it. And then when you want to use it, you go, you walk inside, and then it'll take you back in time. But if, if you want to go back one day, you have to spend one day in the time machine. And at one point in the movie, there's like multiple instances of the same characters going forward and backwards through time machines. So like, he, he goes in the time machine, he goes back like an hour, and then later he goes into a different time machine to go back like three days. So it's very confusing, but uh, it's also kind of fun. It's like trying to be a little bit realistic about the time travel mechanics, but it's still time travel, so, you know, you still have to worry about things like paradoxes, which they don't really resolve, I don't remember, too too well. But I do believe that there are some paradoxes that kind of pop up in that movie. I can't remember the name of it, though. I think it begun with an S. It's not Sleeper. Um, it's not Slither. It's not Seven. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember the name of that stupid movie. It's not Looper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are you are so screwed. I don't even have to worry about freaking Gatling Gull. They're gonna get killed by all the flak shots and uh, and my girlfriend. That was insanely easy. Primer. Waxy Hexagon, thank you. The name of the movie was Primer. It's a fun movie. Master Round, right. Forgot about that synergy immediately. Let's open up both chests. Let's see what we get. I bomb. It's worth selling. That's not its only value, but that's the only value I'm gonna give it today. You can have this and this. Weird time to sell it once we already had the synergy. We're gonna take Gamma Ray. I'm not gonna use Gamma Ray extensively. We did kind of have a weird Gamma Ray run recently, but uh, I'm gonna keep it, because it is a good gun to have for the dragon fight. Yeah, primer. It's a very cool take on a, a time travel travel film. I like it. Cause it's just like dudes. It's just like some dudes who accidentally created a time machine. <laughs> and they're figuring out how to use it. Problem though with time travel is that 
if if someone's going to invent time travel, then someone's going to use time travel, and we should see evidence of it being used, right? Now I can understand that movie kind of having a little bit of a of a solution to the problem, which is that you can only time travel to a point in time when, in which time travel was invented. But that still raises other issues. Like that doesn't solve uh, paradox problems that could be created. Like you you time travel and uh, you kill yourself before you can time travel. So then what happens? It does the uh, the act of time traveling prevent paradoxes? Is the universe self consistent? Or when you time travel, will we just, you know, destroy the entire universe as we know it? Who knows? Yo, we could get two dogs. Wanna get two dogs? There we go. We could also get Shelaton Key, but I don't think we're gonna be able to afford it. We're gonna need three keys. We could get two dogs. You think the dogs will give us keys? I like watching the flak shots of fish. <laughs> Yo, I just had an idea. You know how Heck Blaster turns jammed enemies normal? We need a gun that turns normal enemies jammed. An anti-Heck Blaster, a Heck, f a heck Filler Upper. Cause I want to be able to make jammed key bulletkins and then have them drop two keys. There you go. A heck of fire. The tagline of the of the gun could just be "Go to heck." <laughs> I love it. A jam blaster. Mmm. Maybe. And it'd be like a jam jar. Okay, okay, I see where you're going with this. A jar full of jam, and when you use it, it turns enemies jammed. Because here's the thing. There are advantages to having jammed enemies. They give you more money. If you have, you know, anything that gives you a benefit more for more damage dealt, you can do more damage to enemies. Um... So, you know, if you have the Blood Brooch, you want enemies to have a lot of HP, so you can do get a lot of healing out of it. I could see it being important. I could see it being useful. Ah! Unfortunately... Shrine, you are not the shrine I'm looking for. We did have the um, the familiar shrine, and we did get a familiar. We got a cool little doggo. We could get two doggos. Will we? I don't know. I don't feel like I need two doggos. You know, we might be able to afford the... Uh, the Shelaton key, though. We're actually one key away, and there should be a key for sale in the shop, so I think we could just buy it whenever we want. But we haven't... No, we have found the shop. I don't remember buying a key from the shop, so we should be good. Is it worth it? I mean, there's only gonna be... two chests, then two chests. There's only gonna be six more chests on the run, guaranteed. It's probably worth spending three keys in order to not have to spend six keys. It's probably worth it. And then we can also open up anything else that, um, that we find that is locked. So I think I'll go ahead and do it. We'll do it before the boss fight as well so we can get uh, non-guns, ideally. Don't spend the key there. Spend the key here. And even if, if this means we can't get double doggo, I'm still going to do it. Gilded bullets, gotta love it. Curse, whatever. But gilded rounds, hey, you know what? We don't have to spend any more am any more money buying keys at this point. 
so we should have, I think, a pretty good shot at uh, just having a lot of money, getting a lot of damage, opening up all the chests for free. It's nice. It's nice. Gatling Gull, please help more. Feels like Gatling Gull's uh, letting me down a little bit. You're missing a lot of your shots, friend. Luckily, though, the Tifrenot has not been summoning too many minions, which I am very happy with. There we go. Thank you, Gatling Gull. Goodbye! No keys? No shops? We out. Am I fighting the rat? Nah, we don't even have enough money for the the key on the previous floor. And we didn't have the key, so we can't do it on that floor, so. No rat. Now that now that I've I've defeated the rat plenty of times, I don't feel the need to to do the rat every time. He's a special occasion type of a thing. My my general rule of thumb right now is that if I have enough money for the key, I'll buy it. But I'm not going to go out, out of my way to save money. You know, if I find a vampire lady, if I get a random um, briefcase of cash, sure, I'll buy the key. We'll go fight the rat if I remember. But I'm not. I'm not gonna pinch and save all my all my pennies in order to maybe have enough money for it. No, 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 no. Amaconda is pretty easy if you don't panic. Amaconda is pretty terrible. Amaconda is one of those bosses where everyone has a different opinion on it. It's either the hardest, hardest or the easiest. And even though I, I sometimes get hit on the Amaconda fight and don't get the flawless, I still like the Amaconda fight. Because it's very consistently ash -ho ass holish <laughs> And I feel like if I ever get hit, it's my fault, clearly. But I also just like it because it's a fun fight. You know, you don't know what the boss is doing. You have to put in your all. There's a lot of enjoyment in that fight, I think. Need ammo. Running a little bit, a little bit low. You get overwhelmed. You need your patterns. You gotta, you gotta not be overwhelmed. You gotta consider everything that's going on. Consider when you're gonna wanna fight the turrets, when you're gonna wanna shoot the Amaconda. It's a fun fight. That's what I look for above all else in, in Gungeon is funness. Longer just has a bizarre perspective. Because of the forced camera or because it's such a wide boss? <laughs> Honestly, I um I think Wallmonger is among the You know, actually, I think High Priest is probably amongst the bosses that I flawless least often. I don't know why, but the High Priest feels like I, I freaking get hit on, on that fight like nine times out of ten. I know I got hit, but as long as we killed the uh, Shelaton, I don't care. He's getting buffed, unfortunately. Wanted to make sure he went. And honestly, got some ammo back. So it all worked out in the end. I mean, that's why I took the uh, Holy Grail in the first place. So I get some ammo back so we don't have to worry so much about actually taking damage. 
You're sucking up my flak shots? That's weird. They don't suck up the lasers, but they suck up the laser flak. Mm. Do I know any games that play like the pilot's past? Like Galaga, Galaxian, that sort of stuff? Because there's two right there. I'm pretty sure I remember having a, uh, a Galaga Galaxian composite game for the Game Boy <laughs> a long time ago. Um, well, all paths basically are equally sucky. Milk Jug, you're going to breakfast at a cool place tomorrow? Nice. It's been a while since I've had a good breakfast. Breakfasts are delicious. Hey dog, I petted you a little bit, don't complain. Get rid of this gun, get rid of that gun. Everything else is probably decent enough. I want a little bit of money for gilded bullets, but we don't need all the money in the world. Could also save a couple of guns and do some gun munching, but we'll save some guns when we uh, finish the floor. We'll decide what we're gonna do. RNG, let's go. Eh. Think about it. It could be a good idea because we'll get some uh, some more money for gilded bullets. There it is. What I say? What did I say? We're gonna keep the junk this time. And look who decided to show up. It's been prophesized, essentially. Hello, my honey, hello, my baby, hello, my junk and friend. He's back. <laughs> it's everybody's favorite piece of trash. <laughs> and I'm not being rude. He's literally a piece of trash. So there you go. Hmm. <clears throat> Have I gotten Junkin much? They they reduced the probability of getting Junkin in Farewell to Arms, but before that, it uh, it was relatively common. You wouldn't get it every run, but you know if you pinched and saved every piece of junk you got, you you had a pretty decent chance of getting it on your average run. Let's, let's say so this is gonna be Kill Pillars. We don't need to use a blank opening up. We can use this and this. Sorry, I accidentally reloaded. It's not an accident, I reloaded and that caused Gatling Gull to get pushed away. Would you look at that? How come this gun isn't getting charged? My gun broke. Now oh, there it goes, wait a minute. Now it's getting charged. It's like the icon for it isn't actually showing charge, but it is getting charged. Maybe it has like a time cooldown on it or something. I don't know. It seems a little funky. Anyways, that was easy. <laughs> That's a pretty easy little, uh, a little flawless there. Let's do some gun munching. What do we have? Phoenix Lord 3011. Thank you for the resub for four months. You just started playing Slaves of Fire just because of me playing it. Well. I hope you're enjoying it, because it is a fun game, I think. I've been enjoying it, at least. Let's gun munch the trash cannon. Let's also gun munch the Huntsman. I don't see myself really using it. Oh, the gun Junkin Mech. I have gotten the Junkin Mech a few times. I, I thought you had just misspelled much. <laughs> I, I didn't read the uh, the chat line literally. Probably should have. Um, but yeah, I um, I don't get the mech much because it's just it's very hard to get. You have to get two rare items. You have to get the junk and spawn and the golden junk and spawn. But I've probably gotten it 
two or three times ever. You know, let's um, let's do RNG this time around. Yesterday, my enjoyment of Slay the Spire was over over the top. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Those episodes may never go up on YouTube. I might just purge them from the existence of this world. Um, <laughs> they do not deserve to see the light of day. Let's see. You have Spire in the buying list says Game Watch or Libre, but you're hesitant to buy it for Switch or wait for the Android version. There was someone in chat the other day who said that they did not enjoy the uh, the console port of Spire. But, you know, that might just be their opinion on the matter. And, you know, I think that in general, console ports, um, mobile ports of PC games may not be the the most ideal way to play them. You know, I much prefer to have the, the keyboard and mouse experience myself, but for other people, maybe they're not annoyed by stuff like that. Maybe they're like, it's perfectly acceptable for me. I'm here for the gameplay, not for the controls. You know, I, I do prefer the PC experience, the keyboard and mouse, but I'm perfectly fine playing a game on console or on mobile if it's a good game. And especially if it's not a game that requires any sort of, like, quick inputs or precise inputs, because obviously the console controls are not going to be necessarily that quick or precise. But, uh, you know, give me a puzzle game, give me a, a strategy game, something like Baba, something like Slay the Spire, they would make perfectly acceptable mobile games in my opinion. Because it's, it's less about the the quick inputs as it is about careful thought and consideration. Who are you shooting at? We should probably use the blooper. Ah, you know what? We should probably use this. Just get a couple of easy kills. Probably should not be using Hegemony Carbine. We'll kill a couple of these big, big, bu big bullet bullets, <laughs> and then move on. Give me the blooper. This is what we want for damage, I think. Technically, even if I miss, the flag shots will still hit, so I don't need to worry so much about being super close to this guy. Die, maggot! You're the maggot. I'm not a maggot. Dude, the gull is just owning this guy. I don't even have to shoot him. I was waiting for my uh, my gun to get recharged, but it's never gonna happen. Keep shooting. We've done it. The entire reason why I came down here, one chest. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would be a Sooner Grace chest, then I would open it, but if it wasn't, we'll do that chest. We'll break it open. Thing is, um, you... You're not guaranteed a chest there. You could get a chest for going to the RNG department, but it's never a guarantee. I've had some people suggest that it is a guarantee. It's not, it's random. Plenty of times I've gone down to RNG department, I didn't get shit. Two more junks needed. For white knight phase? I thought I needed three more. I honestly forget exactly what it is. Because I, I always forget if you have to count the piece of junk that you got from Junkin in the first place. Because right now we have one, two, three, four. And I think you need six pieces of junk junk. So I, th I think we do need three more. Could be wrong though. Probably am wrong, let's be honest. I don't freaking know what I'm talking about. 
it goes both ways depending on what narrative I want to put forward. Either I've played so much Gungeon I know everything, or I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. My name's Abe. Abe is synonymous with Alzheimer's. I'll take uh, Chaos Bullets, why not? Really, you're gonna crit roll immediately when I walk into the frickin' room? Tempted. Tempted to blow it up. Um, earlier in the game, first floor, we had the opportunity to pick up a lodestone amulet and a copper amulet. We couldn't afford the copper amulet, the lodestone amulet we could have afforded, but I instead chose to get the riddle, uh, not riddle of lead, the holy grail. The holy grail was a pretty good choice, but because we didn't take lodestone amulet, we have no blank synergy right now. So even getting Sir Junkin up to his white knight phase, it would be cool. He would blank for us on occasion, but we wouldn't get any sort of a blank effect out of it. So I was thinking maybe I would actually just uh, open up the green chest. Now that we've picked up a free blue chest, it would be pretty easy to get us up to the White Knight phase, or maybe even the uh, Archangel phase. I would be willing to do that because he would actually be significantly more offensively potent at that point. Keep taking ammo, why the hell not? You know, I, I kind of want to look right now and see what the other chests are going to be first before I make a decision on the matter, but I'm, I'm leaning now towards breaking every chest. Because let's be honest, I have... I'm taking stupid damage, but I have good guns that I'm okay with using right now. You know, do a quick little uh, mimic check. Because there's no way that we can actually open up a Mimic, or break a Mimic, rather. Unless we get Mimic Tooth Necklace all of a sudden. But where are we going to get that from? I guess you could get it from a shop, we have plenty of keys. But if I find a random Mimic, you know, I'm, I'm usually going to be invested in opening that. I'm going to be saying to myself, hey, you know what? The game has deigned to give us a Mimic, let's open it. Nice job. I have taken horrible damage on this floor. Pretty low on HP, because we have the dog. We should be a little bit wary about taking this much damage. But there's probably some HP that we can... Uh... Okay, there's probably some HP we can buy in the shop. I didn't really pay attention, but it's probably there. They should add a room in Gungeon that is a room full of junk. So a secret room, you go to it and it's just full of like six junk pieces on the ground. That could be interesting. Or maybe just give you junk in secret rooms. Like you know how a secret room could have like one uh, glass guan stone in it or like one blank and a half heart? This also allow junk to spawn in those. Could you shut up in that room over there? God, you're so loud. I know this reduces the damage. I'm okay with that. You know what? Let's uh, let's junk. Let's do it. Okay. There's one. There's two. I need one more. One more piece of junk. We've got him at his at his high level. The level I want him to be at. Not like I need him, because I mean we uh we also have the help of Hello Gatlingo. <laughs> Gatlingo and double shot dueling laser. And we're getting the dueling laser double shot because of the fact that we have hip holster. We're reloading and getting a free bullet. know why I'm getting uh, like a bugged dueling laser and it's not being grayed out at all but
But the dragon phase one is dead. I love watching Gatling Gold just fire a uh, colorful barrage of bullets at the enemy. It's like it's freaking Christmas. Or Easter. Also, he jumped away? He's... Bye, Gull! Can I stand in your shadow? What is up with him? I have no... <laughs> I broke him! Somehow I broke him! Is it charged? It was charged, okay. Dueling laser is low-key amazing. It's not even low-key amazing, I think it's just amazing. Um, beat the Lich with Casey. I don't have Casey this time around. I think... I think it's, uh, it's great. Doesn't work with Helix bullets, unfortunately. Oh, and he's gone. He disappeared. His shadow's gone. Oh no. Gull died right as the item expired, that's why it bugged out. Interesting. I did not pay attention. I thought it was like, because we were on the second phase, technically the Gull left because we had defeated the first phase or something, but if it was just a timing thing with the active item expiring, that makes sense. Okay, one more chest. That's all I want. Give me one more chest, game. One more chest, and we will get my Junkin to the level I want him to be at. I also have a very good efficiency out of the sniper rifle. If an enemy doesn't die to one shot, they'll die to one shot in a reload. Uh, let's get ammo for the laser rifle. Am I the only one that finds it annoying when a familiar blank during the dragon second phase asks that one comedian? I I don't mind it that much because it doesn't it doesn't affect my dodging at all. But I can see how it would, because actually when it happened during the fight against second phase, I'm like, that's kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. I'd rather have the blank than not have it. But yeah, if you're trying to make a, a tight dodge and all of a sudden the bullets disappear, I can understand you being a little bit surprised. You just gotta not think about it. Don't worry about it. You know your dodges. You do you. You know? Dodge as good as you can. You can deal with this one. Keep firing, assholes! Thank you, Gatling Gall. Cool cat Castle, welcome, how you doing? <clears throat> you like the blanks because you hurt yourself on that phase a lot. I mean, that's the other thing, you know, if you... The blank... Ow, hurt my finger. If you are making a bad dodge, it could save your life. So I would rather have the blank than not have it. Like right there, I actually dodged in the wrong direction. Mr. Blankman saved me. Thank you, Junkin, thank you. Of course, it's best to not need it in the first place, but not everybody is as perfect as in Gungeon as I am. <laughs> Calculated damage, you know, we need, need the, uh, the ammo back. There you go, right there. This is the right direction, right? Yeah. I do hate that Gatling Gull is um, sometimes freezing the Blood Yolans, but he's still doing a good job keeping them busy. I also have no idea what's an enemy or not. There's so many things on the screen. There's bullets, there's flak shots, there's dogs, there's an R2G2, there's a Junkin teleporting around. As long as everything's dead, Gull, thank you. should add a bar to the familiar so you know there are attack delays. Kind of like charge mod for Isaac. 
I don't think I don't think they need necessarily to have a uh, a charge bar on the familiars. You know the familiars in Gungeon, you just let them do their own thing. You don't think about them at all. If they blank for you, if they attack, whatever. They've done their job. They've helped. That's the way I look at it. I think adding charge bars to frickin' everything would just make the screen too complex. Already it's kinda hard sometimes in a run like this where you have uh, flak shots, multiple familiars, they're all making shots, different types of enemies on the screen, things off the screen. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't want to really add to the confusion. I am saying right now that I love this hip holster reload I've got with the sniper rifle. I'm getting a lot of effectiveness out of it with double shot, essentially. It's pretty easy to just kill an enemy in like an instant by looking at him. This is the way to the boss fight. Gatling gull is charged. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to. Are you ready to rumble? Gatling gull versus the lich. Who will win? Also, we're doing enough damage now to one shot enemies thanks to gilded bullets. Thank you, gilded bullets. Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys don't stand a frickin' chance. Goodbye. Cool Cat Kester in marching band camp. Nerd! Insert band camp joke here. Oh no, Gatling Gull's gone. <laughs> I don't have my crutch on anymore. Gatling Gull, no! Pet the dog? What did the dog do? to deserve a pet. Everyone always says pet the dog. Nobody ever says pet Abe. I've been a good boy. Dog I found a blank during the Lich fight. Did I even pick it up? <laughs> I don't even remember picking it up. But I also can't pet the dog because you can't pet the dog in combat anymore. You used to be able to, but they patched it out. Oh, you're dead. You're slowed. Oh, I was gonna switch over to the dueling laser and fire one shot. <laughs> Good run! We got Junkin, we got Gull, we got Dog, we got Robot. It was a familiar full run. Did Holy Grail instant charge the item? No. I don't think it, it instantly charges the uh, dueling laser because it technically has infinite ammo. It has nothing to charge. It was a good run, though. It was a fun run. So, I guess that's it. Nothing else to say. We're done here. Forever. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlands. And I hope to see you here again for the next round of Enter the Gungeon.